What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, the place for all actionable app marketing content. And in this video, it's actually a course, a video from my course on Skillshare, all about app store optimization. Now, you normally would have to pay to access this video, but I'm giving it away for free. And in this video, I'm gonna cover all the fundamental elements, the factors that go into how well your app ranks for a certain keyword. And make sure you pay attention because I'm gonna actually cover a few components of ASO that most app developers overlook. So definitely pay attention and enjoy the video. In the previous video, we talked about what App Store optimization is about. And I talked about balancing the algorithm and the user. And we're gonna go through some of the factors that really go into how well your app is ranked for a certain keyword. So first and foremost, and probably the most important thing is your app name. So you wanna have keyword rich app names. You don't wanna make it too long, and we're gonna go into some of those details and later on in the video, but you wanna really make sure your app name is optimized for search. Another thing you wanna think about is your app description. So you really want nice keywords in your app description. I'm gonna go into it a little bit detail later on in the, in the project, but for now, just know that your app description plays a role in how well your app is ranked for that particular keyword. A few other things I'll really highlight real quickly is reviews. So what people are saying on Google Play and iOS that factors in into how well your app is ranked for that keyword. So if they're saying a lot about Facebook and you happen to be Facebook, you're gonna rank really well because of the reviews, because of the words in your app store reviews and also keywords. So Apple has a keyword field that you can use, put into iTunes Connect. And so the end user doesn't see it, but if you remember the SEO days of websites, we used to have this meta keyword field. It's the same thing on iOS. So you have a hundred character limit We'll go into the details later on, but just know that it exists on iOS, but not Google Play. Also now we're talking about the user side of things. So that was the algorithm part of things for App Store optimization. Now we wanna talk about users. Retention is now being a, a key factor in how well your app is ranked. So really think about the end user. You wanna build an app that a user will go back to time, time, time and again. Also conversion. So what I mean by conversion is Apple just started releasing analytics on how many page views. So how, much, how many times your app is actually being viewed by a user, and then how many times you're actually gonna, the user ends up downloading the app. So that plays into it. And so that, things that go into your conversion are gonna be your app name, your screenshots, your app icon. These are things that are gonna get people, once they see your app, are you really getting, enticing them to download your app? So that's what I mean by conversion. And lastly, there's special factors. These are just things that they're not gonna share with us. And so those, just know that that's gonna constantly change. And I think it's pretty obvious that these factors exist, but I wanted to make sure I highlight it just so you know that there's some special factors that we probably don't know about that Apple and Google are both considering in how well your app ranks for a certain keyword. And you wanna pay attention to as well because I reveal some ones 